Good evening, Victoria. You are watching Big V Action, Saturday night action, triple head action, Casey basketball action, Chef Men action. <sighs> and action, action, we are streaming live and free from wherever you're watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Zach McMinniman, and tonight I'm joined by my co-host, Archer McMinniman. Archer, how are you tonight? Zach, always, I'm always good. Are you excited? Yes, Zach, certainly excited. We have the last game of our triple header of the night, Zach. Last game of the triple header, and it is going to be a big one. It's going to be monster, Zach. Championship men. Casey Basketball take the championship men on the Wyndham side. They've come all the way out to the fortress. And tonight, Archer, it's a very special game. It is our Balling for Breast Cancer round where we support breast cancer research here in Australia. Archer, could you tell us a bit more about this wonderful event Casey put on every year? That's right, Zach. Tonight is Pink Round. Yep. The Balling for Breast Cancer, Pink Round, is an annual event that is hosted here at the Fortress by Casey Basketball to raise both funds and awareness for the Breast Cancer Network Australia. The triple header tonight, we've had our Youth League women, Youth League, our men. Youth League men, sorry, our Championship women, and now we have our Championship men to raise, to compete in a special uniform, a pink uniform. Highlighting the Breast Cancer Network Australia signature pink. That, uh, that is our breast cancer round, ladies and gentlemen, and you are here watching live at the Fortress. It's going to be a great game tonight, Archer. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in, if you have already. I'll just read you our review for tonight. Wyndham has notched up one more win so far than the Champ Men, but the Champ Men are still see seeping over a close loss last week. So Casey, Matt and AJ and Brandon will look to keep putting pressure on. And the visitors tend to, to spread the scoring, meaning the threat could come from anywhere. Now I did some scout report from last week's game from Wyndham. And it was a doozy, ladies and gentlemen. They had five plays in double digits. Uh, and B. Watkins had 10 rebounds. So expect, as we talked about, expect the points to come from anywhere in this game. I'm not sure who it could be from. From the looks of things down here, they all look athletic, they all look ready to play, and they all look ready to go. So we're just about getting ready to go here for the championship men game here at the stadium. We'll have a look at our starting five in a second. And it's going to be exciting. It's going to be an exciting one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in if you haven't already. It should be a great game here at the stadium. For the, for the Casey men, as we talked about, loss against Chelsea last week, 92-95. to They were here at home. Now, we watched that game, uh, and they just lost it in the last dying seconds of the game. Matt Donlan, 28 points and six made threes. Huge impact for him. Matt Donlan, a... Sorry, AJ Williams, 22 assists, 22 points, 5 assists, should I say. And Brendan Head, 17 and 4. 17 points and 4 rebounds, that is. Huge game for him. Now, we saw Prendergast last week from Chelsea put Brendan Head in an isolation in the last dying seconds of the game, handed it amazingly, and killed it on that end. So, we're expecting to see another big game out of him. Uh, Currently, the champ men for Casey are sitting fifth on the ladder and Wyndham are sitting third. So we're ready to go. Archer, you are joining us back. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for being missing, after MIA. After some technical issues, you're back and ready to go. Technical issues, but they've been resolved. Starting five tonight for you, Casey Cavaliers, you've got Calvin Eng, AJ Williams, Matt Donlan, Angus Howie, and Mike McInnes. For your Wyndham team, championship men, we've got number 8, number 30, number 35, number 11, and number 24. Here we go, folks. Tip off. About to go down here at the Fortress. Balling for breast cancer. It goes up, and it goes to Wyndham. Quick off the gate. A little pass over. And a, little, a quick little pass. Score by number 35, Brennan Watkins. Now, Zach, already noticing here, 
AJ Williams decked out in the pink tonight. He is. He saw him before the game, Archer, and he commented on his new shoes. Arthur, did you know this man does not... He's super, super, so superstitious about his shoes, he doesn't wear a, no, a used pair of shoes. Like, he always wears a new pair of shoes every game. Does he really? Yes, he does. So those new pink shoes you're seeing, they will never be worn again. Unless, maybe, I might be, I'm not sure. To a game, I, I'm, I'm assuming. Well, Zach, that, that's a really interesting fact. That they're really nice. It matches the uniform quite nicely. Three ball, number eight. Aaron Dolny is good. Wyndham taking a five point on nil lead already. And Casey will run some plays here. They get a screen. Donlin from Eng. Throw back. Misses, but it gets to Howie. Spinning out of trouble. AJ calling for a screen. Splits the screen. Through. Great duck yeah. inside. On the shot clock violation. And that one's too good. Too quick. Too good. Too, too easy. Quick. Too quick, Williams. And we are ready to go. Wyndham. Little throwback. Number 11 will pull. No good. Calvin ends to rebound. He'll push the pace down the floor now. Behind the back. Passes to Donlin. Donlin will take a drive. Will skip pass to Howie. Jump stop. Hook shot is good. Looking like Shaq down there with the hook. Zach, is that Angus Howie or is that Shaquille O'Neal here? I'm not sure. And there's a charge. There's a foul. charge. You foul. AJ Williams getting his feet set. And he's ready to go. Just beautiful. Foul on number 24. Stefan. Come on, son. Casey will inbound here. Calvin Eng. Bit of a flop there by number 24. Not happy a, about that one. Bit of a flop. What is he doing? Ella flop, James. There we go. AJ driving, snaking, shooting. No good. Missing. Defending. Defending. <laughs> number eight coming down the floor now for Wyndham. Moving the ball around. Wyndham looking to play. Middle. Three ball comes up. Three ball goes down, no good. Calvin Ench to rebound. He snatches it. Number 24, still uh, still worrying about that flop with his blood nose. AJ Williams, just not caring in the world. Angus Howie in the post, spins up, and he'll go for a foul on the baseline. Go to the baseline. Back to the baseline, Mr. Cruz. Great movie, Coach Carter. So there's going to be a baseline inbound. Mike McInnes to inbound the ball. Going to pass to Howie. Back in the post. Bully ball under there. Hook shot. No good. Calvin Edge. Big rebound. Can't get it back up in time and loses it and will go the other way. Wyndham with the ball now. Moving around. Wyndham. Stop. Pass, bounce pass, great, great job there by Casey spinning out of control. Maybe a foul he's, called. He snatches it. Maybe a sideline play. Well done, AJ. Well done. Wyndham, very confused about that. But it's the right call. It was the very right call. And here we go. Back the other way, Casey basketball. It's in the hands of Williams. Aliyub to Genj, and it's no good. Close, close, but no cigar. Wyndham will try now. Mike McInnes, it'll be a blocking Ooh, be for a two. Blocking foul. Ooh. Thought he had his feet set there. Ooh. Close. On the line here. First free throw is good. Number 11. Adetomi Aliara. Second free throw coming. That one's good. Two goes down. Increases the wi Wyndham lead to three. So now Eng has it. For Casey. They're going to swing the ball now. No, they're not. They're going to keep it. They're going to get an, a Howie screen. Flying. They'll be out of court there by Mike McInnes. Not happy with that one. 
Not the same Casey Cavaliers we are uh, used to seeing. Archer usually very structured, know what they're doing. It's like it's a different day today, different different color uniform, different vibe as well. Just the vibe of it. Up strong, and one goes down. Huge end one there by Adomi Ali Aliara. So he'll go to the charity stripe for an extra one. It's gonna be a foul on Angus Howie. Big Gus. Big Gus. Free throw goes down. He's three of three tonight. And AJ Williams now trying to sort out his team. Look for a different option. They find the corner option. Mike McInnes. Skip pass over to Eng. Eng cannot go up strong with the ball tonight. He keeps losing it. Either the ball is slippery or he cannot put it in the ring. Just one of those nights, Archer. Who put butter on the ball? That's the question we're asking here tonight at the Fortress. Fadeaway 2 is good by number 30, Cameron Hutton. Hey, Archer, just like we talked about in our, scout, our scout report, attacks are coming. Three ball, Matt Donlin. No good. No good. McInnes goes down, working on Eng. And now Wyndham will come up. Like I was just saying, Archer, that we talked about in our scouting report that Wyndham's points came from everywhere. They had five people in double digits. They so it could, could come from anyone right now. We're not sure who. So Casey need to be right on their defensive game as number 30 goes up for an N1. That was number 30, Cameron Hutton. He'll go up against AJ with a, a little bit of a swipe. Maybe a timeout called Coach K wants to talk things over with the Casey Cavaliers. Five minutes, 21 to play in the first quarter of this game. Casey are down by 10. Both teams not in foul trouble yet, but why should they? It's the first quarter. Folks, don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a minute. We're back, folks. Hope you didn't miss us. We certainly missed you. We certainly did miss you. The short time you were gone. On the line, number 30. You got a bingo attached to your foot, Zach. Never mind, not anymore. Oh, well, you do have, you have a <laughs> pink lady. Casey Border inbound on the sideline. Calvin Angel will kick it in. Finds AJ Williams. We'll go down the floor now. Matt Donlan with it to end. Kicking Donlan through. He'll go to the post. Double down. Angus Howie left alone. Spinning. Right hand hook shot. No good. Hits the back of the iron and just bounces out. Rebounded by Wyndham 11. Down the floor. Three ball on its way, corner, no good. Donlin with the rebound, nearly lost it. Gets it to Williams. Williams too quick there. Drops players. Great defense here by Wyndham, just stopping this Casey team. Spinning out of control. And nearly had an M1, but he'll go to the charity strike for two. Rolled in, rolled out. That one just did a toilet bowl. Went in, went out. <laughs> did a toilet bowl. It went around the, around the, the bowl, Archer, around the, the hoop. He went around the ring and rolled out. I would hope that's not the total ball, both. Substitutions here. Ben Gasper will check in the game for Angus Howie. And Wyndham will take a few subs. 35 will check out of the game for number 12. 
and his first free throw coming your way. No good. Hits the back of the rim. It's gone. Second free throw coming your way. Back of the rim. Bounces. No good. Van Gasper almost got it, but didn't. Gasper. Yeah, did. Oh, I did say that. Windham. Couple good screens at the top, looking to get open. Can't find an option. They find the corner eventually. Eight firing, eight shoots, eight scores over Donlin. Number eight, Aaron Donnelly. Dolny. In the hands of BW. He's moving. He checked out of the game for McInnes. Gaspar. Screen for AJ. AJ working on him. Spin move out of control. Finds his teammate. Great defense. You have two on the shot clock. Calvin Edge has to fire. Give me a shot clock violation. And Windham are off with the races. Great defense there by Ben Waterhouse. Got to be an offensive foul there. A booking foul is called. Foul on BW. That's harsh. Harsh, harsh. And our floor sweepers looking amazing in their pink tutus tonight. Some of our junior Cavaliers who could be here someday, Archer. We always talk about it. That's right, Zach. That could be them in a couple of years. It could be. Lob, no good. Will retain possession. Ben Gasper wall up. Can't get it to fall. So Casey will bring it the other way. Here's Eng to Williams. At the top, finds BW screen by Gasper. Bazanchuni corner three, no good. Rebounded by Wyndham, 11. Bringing down the floor, 24. Pomsarman. Three, two, long two. Short. Picked up by Bazanchuni. It was short, Zach. Weaving down the court to BW. Screen by Eng, switches. Gets around, corner. It'll be a foul before the shot. And we're going to go to the baseline here. They're going to get some substitutions for both teams as well. So Eng will check out of the game. Brennan Head will check in. And number eight for Wyndham will check out of the game. Aaron Dolny will check out as well. And number one will come in, Simon Maker. On the line, Ben Waterhouse for two. We love the charity stripe there, Zach. We do. We I'd love it. Why do we love the charity stripe, Zach? Easy points. Three points. Who doesn't love three points? I mean, if it's free, it's me. If it's free, it's me. <laughs> that's, that's me and Zach. That's, your, that's, that's our favourite that, saying. That's my, that's my saying when I'm out at the club. If it's free, it's me. Rebounded by Wyndham here. They're pushing the pace. Four on five. Casey advantage. They set up. Corner three. Long. Bazin Tuni to rebound. So Casey had possession here. In the hands of Williams. Screen coming for Gasper. He doesn't use it left side. And, and one call for Williams. Help defense said no, no. And he said yes, yes. I'll take my N1, sir. And he'll go to the charity stripe for two. For another one. Time that's cool. Time that call to Wyndham. They're going to talk things over. Work out how to stop this Casey team from making a run. Now, Zach, you love to see it. You love to see it, Archer. Hey, Joe William, going on the line. Just seeing his speed, his quickness. I, that line. I really admire that about AJ Williams. The speed he uses to get to the basket. Yes, Zach, that's right. He's not, not the tallest player. However, he's the quickest. He's the quickest. Sorry, there, was, there wasn't any more to that. I, just, I made it seem like there was more to that. Point, yeah. <laughs> Tsunami. Dun, 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 dun. Great like, music. Great music. Great music there by our audio technician, Matt Suda. What a, and Archer, can I just add, 
What a great atmosphere, atmosphere here for the Fortress tonight. Saturday night action, and so many people. The grandstands uh, are nearly packed. That's right, Zach. To that's support right. A, such a great cause like the breast cancer, uh, breast cancer research, Ballin for breast cancer here at Casey. It's a, it's a big event every year. We missed out last year because of COVID-19, but we're back, and it seems like we're better than ever. Oh, about to sneeze, but then you didn't sneeze, you're okay. I didn't, I sneezed not. So AJ Williams is on the line. He's going to take two at it. He's going to take one at it because it's he got the end one, so he's going to take an extra Looking point. to make the three-point play here. He will. That's what he will do today. Mogut off the back of the iron. But he, he gets, gets back. the ball back, though. So he's ready to go. He's calling for a screen from head. To Ben Waterhouse, three, good. It's good. Finds the bottom of the cup. Off the assist by AJ Williams. Zach, you know what I was thinking? That's what they drew up in that timeout. They drew up that play. That's what I thought. Probably Coach K loves his little driving dishes. They're swinging the ball, three ball for Wyndham, trying to answer back, no good. Can't get the rebound, it's out on Gaspar. So we're gonna retain possession here for Wyndham. Find Simon Maker. Maker working on Waterhouse. Spinning. No good. Off the shot attempt middle. BW will take it. Down on the floor. Finds Brendan Head. Passes to Gasper inside. Up strong with it. Can't get it out of the big man's hands. Brendan, Brendan Head had a great game last week, Zach. He did. He did. I thought we talked about it in the scanning report, Archer. He was put in the in the ISO by Prentagast and just too strong there. Could not stop him. Unfortunately, they lost by three. Ben Stripped. Waterhouse with a strip. Makes light work of it. Finds Brenda. Three ball on its way. No good. Front of the rim. Kisses it. Says, thanks, sir. Be my Valentine. Waterhouse with the ball now. Calling a play. BW looking. Assessing. Pulls up for a three. Feels himself. It's good! <laughs> He's feeling himself tonight. Three ball to BW. Zach, one, two. That's two for him tonight. Six points in the last three minutes, Archer. Two threes. Wyndham have to stop this. Some great defense there by Alex Bazincuni, but even better offense there by number 12, Kane Haynes. the line, Kane Haynes. He's going to try to make light work of this one with 53 seconds to go. No good. No good on that attempt. Looks like the, the crowd makes some noise. Fortress doesn't want him to hit this free throw. He does. Silences the crowd. So Wyndham will take a sub here. Kane Haynes will check out of the game. Number eight, Aaron Dolny will check into the game. So it'll be Casey Ball swinging the ball, finds Bazanchuni, looks inside for Brennan Head. Bullies down low, can't get a shot off. Second it's chance effort is good. It's he, good. And he looks like he's telling the referee, hey man, I got fouled on the first attempt. Or at least Archer. Well, that's what we hope he says. That's what we hope he said. Great little blitz action there by the Casey Cavaliers. Ooh. Foul on Bazanchuni. Couldn't complete the play. Alex Bazanchuni. Apologies. Say it properly. Pardon? Would say his name properly. Alex Bazanchuni. 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 Good job, Archer. Bit of a noise from our crowd here. Misses yeah. the first free throw. Looks like it worked. Casey fans liking that one. The sad horn, Zach. Second one on its way. Sad horn. Second one's good. Silas is the crowd. Casey will bring him the other way. 
in the hands of AJ Williams. AJ Williams defended by Maker. 12 seconds to go on the clock. What's he going to do with this one? Ben Gasper creeping up. Hard screen to the rim. Left hand, no good. So he'll go to the charity stripe for two with six seconds to play in this first quarter. Archer, that was a tremendous play by AJ Williams. Do you agree? Zach, Hundo's. Hundo's. Hundo. Hundo percent. Hundo percent. Using his quickness once again to get to the ring. And great quarter awareness there by Ben Gasper to wait for the screen to the right time to give AJ the proper amount of time to get to the bucket without spoiling it for the rest of the team. First one, no good. We're going to make a second one. That's good. Second one's good. Reduces the margin to five now. There's four seconds in the hands of Maker. Gets to the ring. Layup is quick. That was the quickest I've seen someone move down the floor. And there is no Casey people, no Casey players to defend that. That's just a complete defensive breakdown. You need to stop that. And I'd be, I'd be on my teammate's case if I let a defender like that blow by like that. Ladies and gentlemen, second quarter action coming your way in a minute. 16 to 23, Casey and Wyndham, respectively. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back with you in a few short moments. Do not go anywhere. Big V action at the Fortress. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Second quarter action here at the Fortress coming your way ASAP. But first, we're fueled up and ready to go. Now, Zach, a tremendous first quarter of basketball we've just witnessed. Would you agree? I would agree, Archer. I would agree very profusely. That's good, Zach. <laughs> so, Casey, the inbound the ball now. Brennan Head will inbound. Waterhouse will grab the ball. He pushes down. Keith Robinson in the game now. First minutes for him. Bazantuni finds head off the down screen from Gaspar. We'll find Robinson. Three ball your way. Head. No good. Pushing the ball now. Finds Maker. Too far. Turnover for Wyndham. And they will apologize to each other. Say sorry, mate. Sorry, you? mate. Sorry about that one. Sorry about that one. Keith Robinson checks into the game at the start of this quarter. And here we go down the floor. Keith Robinson, baseline drive, kicks. That's a turnover for him. Just got the pass picked off. Rising, Simon Maker. Who's your maker? And that's going to be a travel violation. Casey down by nine. Ping around here tonight, Zach. 
It is a big round, big round. So, Maku John Kuch. BW grabs the ball. BW takes it away. Unfortunately, steps out of bounds. Wise words, BT. That was out of bounds. That was out of bounds. And he knew it. May get it inbound. In the hands, Wyndham, eight, three. No good. Keith Robinson takes it, gets Re that rebound. Rebound for Robinson, rises above. Here comes Ben Waterhouse, BW. One screen ahead. Brenda, free throw line, pull up is good. He's a monster, beast. He loves it, he loves it. Great shot there by Brennan Head. Off the assist by Ben Waterhouse. Bit of a push there. Ben Waterhouse takes a hit. He'll pick up the rebound, working on number 33 for Wyndham. That's another steal for BW, Zach. Ben Gaspar looking, driving. That'd be an offensive foul. And there's a bit of wise words here between Ben Gaspar. Brendan Head and number 35. Bit of a weak move there by Brendan Watkins, walking up and tapping uh, yeah. tapping Ben Gasper on the bum, saying, oh, good foul, mate. Bit of a weak move, but, you know. Real hero. Real, real hero. Real hero here. Breast cancer round, isn't it? Yeah. Great way to uh, show the fans, you know, who's boss. Who's, who's boss out here? Great, great, mate. Yeah, you got Makua. Number 33. Passing. Down low, number 11. Screen BW. Tapped away, and we're out in transition. Brennan Head in transition. Puts it in! Puts it away. Puts it away in transition. And Casey going to come back the other way. They're only down by five now. Screen coming. Baseline drive. Great help defense there by Ben Waterhouse. And they're going to come down the other way. McInnes finds Gasper down low, posting up. Spinning, turning, stripped away. Then Gasper not happy with that one. And it's going to be a foul, foul. on Mike McInnes. Oh. So number eight will go to the line, Aaron Dolmy. Big impact for him tonight. Brendan Gasper will check out for the game. I guess how we come in. Same with Matt Dunlin. Donlan's going to wait. Oh, Donlan's going to wait. Apologies he's, for that one. He's going to wait. Talk it over with Coach K. He's going to sit down on that substitution seats. They look comfortable. They do look comfortable, Archer. Wouldn't you love to be in the game right now? Would I, Zach? I would love to. I would love to. Number one free throw is good for number eight. Dolny. Second one coming your way, folks. Second one is good. Two from two from the line. Oh, he's put his fingers on his mouth. The real hero, that one. Again, this Wyndham team, they've come a long way. Must be superheroes out there, are Wyndham. They? they are. You can't win them all. Win them all. Win them all. And here you go, back down the other way. It's BW, finds Robinson. Out of court. Just stepped out there. But it's a shame because uh, BW just stepped into a three. Killed that shot. Substitutions now. Robinson's going to check out for Robinson. Robinson's going to check out for Donlan, should I say. And back the other way, it's Wyndham in the hands of Watkins. To Makua. Pull up three, Wyndham. Back of the iron, no good. Rebounded by Casey. Down the floor now, Donlan loses it behind him. Slippery butter ball, but he gets it back. Retains possession, and it's going to be cross-court on Casey. Casey just looked a bit disheveled right now, Archer, not knowing what's going on. Mike McInnes just talking to the referee, asking what's going on. Hope, hope we, he's asking what's going on. That's what we hope he's saying, Zach. That's right. Three ball coming your way, Wyndham. 
No good. Rebound of my McInnes. Foul on the rebound. It's on Watkins. Go tap him on the bum. Go tell him that was a good foul. That was a good foul, that one. Great foul. Great foul. He'll check out of He'll the game. He'll check out of the game. Rightfully so. Take a seat and think about his actions. So here come Casey down the floor. AJ Williams with the ball. Looking. How he screened. Donlan ball. Step back. No good. To Mike McInnes. Duck into Howie. Looking to do something with it. Stripped. Just double team down there. Casey need to get their points another way. Can't look through the bigs right now. Seems like a very good team, this, this uh, Wyndham team, Archer. Spin move. That's a travel down there. That's a travel. He walked. And over. Casey in transition. Oh, oh. just threw it out of bounds. Not the camera. Not the camera. Or the lady. We should, or the lady. Or, we or, say. or the lovely interaction photography. Interaction Jody. Photography. Jody, that's right. Jody for your interaction, interaction photography. Thank you for one of it being one of our sponsors this year. We hope you're all good, Jody. But Wyndham will bring it the other way now. Cool. Screen by Haynes. Three ball your way. No good. Side of the rim, no good. Here comes Mike McInnes with the ball. He'll pass to Williams. Three ball. No good. Looking for it. Pushing out the way. And Wyndham will bring it down. Makua. Haynes screen. Defended well. Yeah, it's going to be a travel, travel court. I was about to say, defended well. Could have been a travel, and it was. And it was a travel, Zach. Great defense there by the Casey Cavaliers. So they're going to go the other way. Casey's possession here, Zach. Donlan three. That it's was good. Go. Wide the cup. The crowd erupts here at the Fortress. Rightfully so. Donlan three ball is good. Casey playing some hard defense. That's got to be a motivator for this team to push through. They're only down by six now. Spinning, driving, shooting. Inning. That one goes to inning. That one goes down 24. Pom Asan. With the ball now, it's Williams. Finds Donlin on the three. Baseline drive up. And there's going to be a foul for two. So Donlin's going to go to the charity stripe. He'll take two free shots at that one. And we're going to have a bit of a sub here for Wyndham. So number 33, McCurr Jungkook will check out of the game. He's out of there. He's out of there. He's out of that one. And number 22, Kobe Pearson, will check into the game. First one, Donlin, is good. Second one, coming your way. Four minutes, 42 to play in this second quarter. Kisses the front of the rim and falls down like a lovely valentine. Substitutions here. Calvin Andrew will hop on the floor for Brenda. Brenda Brendan Head. Good minutes from him tonight. Great minutes. Doing really well, just like last week. Screen here. Wyndham. AJ fighting over it. Looks for a duck inside. Some good screen action here by Wyndham. Looking for a bit of a lob there. Gets action coming. Needs to defend the on-ball. They do. Casey bring it down the other way now. Here we go. Donlin in. And the trot's up. And there's a foul. He'll go to the charity stripe for two. Blue 30. Cameron Hutton. So, Don will go to the line for two. There's going to be a timeout called here timeout. for Wyndham. But Archer, in the meantime, I think it's important that we have a talk about some of our sponsors. But Archer, before that, seems like the days are getting cold and colder as we get further into the year. That's right, Zach. How are we going to keep warm this winter, not summer? Well, my friend, the folks over at Illusion Gaslock Fires have you covered. Illusion Gaslock Fires are the perfect inbuilt gaslock fires for your home all year round. Featuring great design and great heating capacity, you can rest assured you'll always be toasty warm in the comfort of your own home. 
all ga illusion gas look fires are Australian made and come with a warranty for peace of mind with stores open all week 9 to 5 p.m. and on Sundays 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. you have no excuse not to pop in and see the quality of an illusion gas look fire yourself Archer we love illusion gas look fires here at Casey cannot fault them they're the best what do you reckon of them Zach they keep you warm they keep you toasty what else do you need? What else could you possibly ask for? This winter. This winter, as of course, getting so colder and gentlemen, colder. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to get warm this summer, winter, not, not summer, you don't want to get warm. Winter, in summer as well, they're good enough for winter. Go over and see the folks at Illusion Gas Log Fires. Tell them Casey Basketball sent you and have some fun there. Thank you to Illusion Gas Log Fires for being one of our sponsors this year. Casey are trailing in the second quarter, 25 to 31. Four minutes, 17 to play in the second quarter. Casey, they have three fouls to give and Wyndham have two. Archer, what do you want to see out of these last minutes going into the halftime break? Zach, Casey has definitely got a couple points off the O-Trans. Um, it'd be good. They've drawn the fouls. Um, they just can't convert. They just can't convert. And that's just some of the boys. It's just maybe the night. Who knows? I would assume so. Usually they're not like this. So here we go. Wind and ball now. Closely guarded by. Closely guarded. Number 30 in the hands. Down to 11. Other Tommy. Three ball on its way. No good rebound by Donlan. Pushing the ball now. you got Williams. He's off with the races. Behind the back. Making him skid all over the floor. Tokyo Drift style. Three ball Donlan. Three. It's good. Three ball's good by Donlan. Off the beautiful play by AJ Williams. That's what I'm talking about. Boom shakalaka. That whole possession Archer was pretty. Pretty. And we're still playing here. Wind and ball. Looking for a back screen. Working on how he's spinning. Muscling. He'll get and the foul and one. And one. Out of Tommy Aliara. Give me a foul on Angus Howie. Big Gus down there just getting him on the hands. And that's okay, Archer. It is okay. That's all right. Am I going delusional or are these pink uniforms going red? No, it's like they're pink. Good. Do you know why, Archer? Uh, because it's pink round. We're balling for breast cancer out here. Great cause here by Casey Stadium. Mike McInnes has the ball. Casey basketball. They duck inside to Howie. Gus loses the ball. Back to Donlin. McInnes three. No. Pulled back down by Angus. Oh, Calvin by Enge. Sorry. Calvin Enge. Donlin looking three ball. No good off the back of the rim. Gets it again. They have a sh fresh clock now. 14 seconds. Mike McInnes three. It finally finds it. It's raining threes Woo! here at the Fortress. Woo! Get down here. It's raining threes. Kelvin Eng with a steal. On the break. Two on three. Two on two. Dunk. No. no. That would be good. Ooh. Left hand layup is just as good there for Donlin. It's equally as great. Archer. He's on fire. He's on fire. And Wyndham have possession now with the ball. And Casey take the lead by a point. For the first time in this game, Zach. Archer, it's a sight to see. You love to see. It's got to be some motivation going into the halftime break. Oh, yes. And here comes McInnes with the big rebound there off the miss by Wyndham. They're going to go down the floor. They find Gus under the ring. Up with it. Foul. Uh, yeah. He'll go to the charity strike for two. You just love to see it, Archer. You love to see it, Zach. And if I was on the court, I'd be hyping up my teammates right now. So a bit of a cool down period here for the Casey Cavaliers and Wyndham alike. <coughs> Bless you, Archer. I'm okay. That's okay. We're all good. Second free throw is good there by Gus, Angus Howie. And our floor sweepers are up there. Floor sweepers up and about. We're going to have a substitution here for Wyndham. 11 
Hatter, Tommy Eliara will check out of the game. Number 12, Kane Hames will come in. Two minutes to go in this half. Casey Cavaliers are up and about. The fortress is erupting. Casey are up by two for the first time in this game. Middle drive to Wyndham. Oh, Ooh. and there's a kick in the shin. Angus Howie. Ouchies. 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 That one looked like it would hurt. So Ben Gasper is going to go get him. Walking a little bit gingerly on the on the on the old foot. Floor sweepers. Crowd alike up and about. Misses yeah. the first free throw. Sadhorn is correct. No good. Second free throw is good. Can't win them all. Cannot win them all. Ben Waterhouse with the ball to Calvin Enge. He's got AJ Williams out to Matt Donlin. Three ball rises above. Off the front of the rim, can't hit that one. And now Wyndham are off the races, two on two. Hey, come on, ref. There's got to be a charge in that, seriously. Oh, gone Van down just, hard. Van Gasper just laughing because he knows it should have been called. So did the Wyndham player. How did he get away with that How one? How did he get away with that one? Bit of smiles all around here. Smiles all around. Ben Waterhouse with the ball spinning, shooting. There's got to be something there. No, no fouls have been called. They've gone absent. Casey ball, three, long. Back to AJ Williams. He'll rebound the ball. 59 seconds to play in this second quarter. Pushing the ball. Middle, pull up. Mid-range. No good. Can't hit that one. Kelvin Enge did his best to rebound, but it was picked up by Windham. And here we go. So it's going to be a baseline inbound. Windham ball. Timeout call by the Casey Cavaliers. Coach K wants to talk over with his team, know what's going on before they go into this halftime break, which is completely okay. Casey running a lucky number competition now, ladies and gentlemen. If you hadn't already bought a ticket, you can either buy a $50 ticket or a $20 ticket, and one of those tickets... $50, you may win. You have a chance of winning a $2,000 prize and $20, $800 prize. Great competition. All proceeds go towards breast cancer research. Uh, it's something we, we highly, highly uh, support here at Casey, and it's a great cause. I highly recommend jumping on, even getting down to the Fortress on our webpage and donating uh, and get around it. You don't want to miss this. So... 44 seconds to play in this third, second quarter of action at the Fortress. 36 to 37. Casey are only down by a point. So Coach K, obviously calling a timeout, wanting to get up before going into this halftime break. And here we go. Teams are coming back into the game now. Wyndham inbound in the corner, moving the ball around. They have 40 seconds, but 14 on the shot clock. Have to pull a three here, two for one coming. Rebounded by the Casey Cavaliers, and there is seven seconds separating the shot and game clock right now. Eng with the ball to Howie, looking inside, faking his defender away, up, no good. Contact all over him. So Wyndham will take the clock down. Eight seconds to play. Foul screen coming, should I say. Three ball. Tip. Great block. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Donlin has to pull up a half court. Ooh. No good. That was close, that, that one. That so was close. The Casey Cavaliers cannot convert on that possession. 
We're going to have 36 to 37. Casey are down by a point. Okay. Halftime action, folks. We will be back in 10 minutes. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Archer, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Zach, I'll see you in 10 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, we will see you in 10 minutes. Stick around.
And we are back, triple header action here at the Fortress, ready to go for this third quarter. But first, we have a very special guest with us tonight. Could you please introduce yourself and what you do at Casey here? Uh, so I'm David Peters. I'm the newly appointed high performance coach at Casey. Um, I'm currently the director of coaching of the boys program. Um, I run our Casey Advantage program and also a lot of our uh, individual skill sessions on the Sundays. Awesome. So Dave, what does a high performance coach actually mean? What, what, what does your role entail? Interesting question. Yep. Um, I think it just has a lot to do with my experience. Um, had a lot of good fortune to be a part of state programs, senior uh, programs, um, involved with some MDL clubs um, and worked with some really talented coaches there. So just bringing what I've learned from them into our program and trying to make it as elite as possible. Yeah, for sure. And you talked about Casey Advantage before. What, uh, what type of skills are we seeing in Casey Advantage that's outside their normal team training here for our Junior Cavaliers? Yep, so we try to streamline it so it's not too far apart from what we currently do in our normal team trainings. But we also give them a chance to be creative, experiment with new things that we don't always get a chance to do. It also gives myself and Darren Bess a chance to try some things that we might want to use for the upcoming season. Yeah, for sure. And I'm sure it's also a good way of scouting players as well seeing who'd be best fit for next season and uh, moving those players through, I'm sure. Definitely a great way for us to track how they're progressing throughout the year. Um, a really good chance for a lot of them to play against players in uh, higher teams and we also get to have the boys versus the girls, which is a great experience for both. Awesome, 100%. Uh, and you talked about a lot of your experience. You said that uh, being a high performance coach is more based on your experience. Said you had a lot of involvement in some state teams and MDL teams. Just could you give us a rundown of what uh, teams in particular, notable teams? Um, yep. So lucky enough to, I think I've uh, been on the staff for five under-18 national championships wow. um, with Vic Metro boys. Um, we got three gold medals at those national championships. Wow. Um, and just lucky enough to coach some players that have gone on to do amazing things. You know, the John Fayettes, the Ben Simmons. Um, wow. A lot of players like that. So, just being involved with talent like that, with coaches of that level, and being able to to coach against coaches of similar capacity has just been really helpful for my progression. And being around those people is so influential when it ter in terms of having a coach, you know, almost rub off on you. You sort of pick up some of those uh, those natural tendencies. Being a coach, that's uh, that's awesome. Uh, and what do you see for the future of Casey basketball here at, at the Fortress? Um, the future's looking super bright. Uh, Darren's done an amazing job just growing the program over the last three years. Um, there's no doubt, I think one of the main goals was to get as many teams as we could into VC, and we've been really successful at that this year. I think we have um, six teams in VC, is it this year? We have nine. Nine, nine sorry. It's all <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, so the next thing is to now be how quickly can we move ourselves up the ladder of those VC competitions for sure and be in the you know the top two conversations that's what we're trying to look at now 100 percent 100 percent uh rest of this game what do you see what do you like what do you dislike what's going on i'm just happy with the way the ca uh the cabs have brought themselves back after a really slow start yeah um hopefully they can keep the intensity up maybe change it up a little bit on the defensive end, throw some, some disruption at the Wyndham team, see if we can catch them off guard and get on a bit of a run. Yeah, 100%. Finish it off strong, yeah. Well, Dave, thank you for your time. No doubt Casey is heading in the right direction when we have coaches like you at the helm. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate everything you do here for the junior and senior uh, Cavaliers. Thanks for having Thank you very much. Folks, that was Dave from David from uh, Casey, our, one of our high-performance coaches here at the Casey Cavaliers. 
a very experienced man, very knowledgeable man, and we are very lucky to have him at the Fortress. Uh, isn't that right, Archer? That's right, Zach. Thank you, Dave, for that words of wisdom and sharing us your... Sharing out your wisdom. Your wisdom, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So we're back. Third quarter action Thank here you. at the Fortress. Bit of a scuffle under the ring, so we're going to get back into it now. Now, to just reflecting on that interview a little bit, that's just what makes Casey so rich in talent and knowledge. And we have coaches like that off the, the inbound shot from uh, number eight, Aaron Dolby. It just makes our competition so rich and uh, and full of knowledge. Oh, what kind of foul is called? Now, both these teams, they are battling out here. They are battling. And that's what we like to see, don't we, Archer? That's right, Zach. Especially on a big round like this, we want to see teams going at each other a little bit. Going Let at each play. other's throats. You can't be a marshmallow out here, Archer. You can't be the state puff marshmallow, man. You cannot. We had no Ghostbusters out here. Come on. And that's got to be something. There's a travel the call. Travel. There's going to be a foul there, though. Unlucky there, but Casey going to get the ball back anyway. There's 7.28 on the game clock to go. Third quarter action here at the Fortress. Mike McInnes is going to talk it over with the referee, ask what was happening. Please, could you look out for it next time, or at least that's, that's what we, we hope, hope he's so. Ball's getting in there now. Kelvin Eng to AJ Williams. Pushing the pace. Screen. Donlan to AJ. Push the pace. McInnes, baseline drive stopped, and he'll retreat to Eng now. Eng has a clear drive. He needs to turn. There he you did. go. He did. On the right side. Bang, bang. Simply lovely. Lovely. So back the other way. It's Wyndham. They're looking for a big score here in a big way. They're down by five right now. Long three overhead. That one finds the bottom of the cup. Somehow, number 24, Pumasan. So AJ Williams with the ball. He's going to take a drive. Snaking his way through. Donlan three. three. Donlan score. If Wyndham weren't so busy trying to talk to the referees about what is a foul and not a foul, they would have worried about Matt Donlan getting an easy three-point basket. Matt There's Donlan. a rebound. We're in transition here. No look past the Williams. Up, down. Yes. And AJ Williams go to line for two. Go to line. That's our favorite, Zach. We might get a button that says, go to the line. Go to the line for two. AJ Williams now on the line. At the charity stripe, Archer. Second one, no good, rattles out. Wyndham with the ball. McCurr. Kevin Eng. Great day there. Looking for the duck inside. Great defense there by Brendan Head. Straight up Great and down. Deep. And there's going to be a foul. We'll go to the baseline. It's going to be a foul on number 14, Calvin Eng. Great defense great there. Great defense there by Brendan Head. Straight up and down with it. The body control, the strength to stop the player. It's just a sight to see. Inbound. Looking, 33, Wyndham. Screen coming. No, it's not. Corner three. Donlan rising, defending. Good. Ball is inbounded. It, not is inbounded. It's rebounded by Mike McInnes. Great screen there by Brendan Head. And refs do not want to call a foul in this game. They do not want to call a foul at all. So they're going to get a sub here for Casey Cavaliers. BW. Ben Waterhouse going to check in for Mike McInnes. Give him a break going into the fourth quarter. And here we go. 
Calvin Ange with the ball. Hand off, Williams. Screen, Calvin Ange. Driving, floater, no good. Bit of D on the way here for the Case Cavaliers. Matt Domlin almost smacks it, but smacks it ultimately in the ball. In the ring, shall I say. In the ring, should you say, Archer. <laughs> That's right, Zach. Matt Domlin for three. No good, no good. Brendan Head under the ring. He'll get the offensive rebound. That one's no good. And then Wyndham will bring it the other way. Number 33, Wyndham with it. Guarded closely. 24. Three ball goes up. Three ball bang. Pomasan. So now Casey Cavaliers have possession. Got to use it here. They're only up by a point. Wyndham have clawed their way back into this game. So here you go. Calvin Enge with the ball, called by Waterhouse. Donlin driving, kick back to Brendan Head. Will push off, floater. Floater, Brendan. He he's saying, yep, that's it. That's a floater. That's Great the possession. money. Great possession there by Brendan Head. That's the money, Zach. Pull up, no good. Great D there. Great D there by Calvin Enns. Showing his length. Pushing the ball down the floor. It's AJ Williams. He's going to go to the corner. A little hezzy. Will hand off to Brennan Head, to Donlin. Back to Williams. Crossover, middle. Just lost the handle there. Would have been a great highlight play. Calvin Enns, dive on the ball, big fella. That's going to be a jump ball. So, Calvin Enge is going to check out of the game. Ben Gasper is going to go in. Big man Ben Gasper. Mark McInnes only been off for a minute and a half or so. He's going to check in for AJ Williams, give him a break. And here we go. Balls Finds in the hands head. of Brendan Head. Gasper. Driving through. Got to be something there. Apparently not. Big Ben Gasper doing everything he can to fight and get a, a, get a score. But he can't when he's got hands all over him. So Wyndham have possession. It's in the corner. It's now to the middle. Back to the other side. They're going to find it middle. They're going to find it at three in the corner. Goes up. There's another three by Wyndham, and Casey needs to pull a hand up for these shots because they're now equal on par with each other. There are, it's, the scores are equal, ladies and gentlemen. Same thing, going back the other way. Donlin, screened by Gaspar. Great defense there by Wyndham. Mike McInnes. It's up good. There. Great little shot there by Mike McInnes. They're going to come the other way now. Defense here. Pull up three hand there. And there's going to be an offensive rebound put back there by 33 for Wyndham. So we're going to push the other way now. Ben Waterhouse. Nearly uses the screen by Brendan Head. Mike McInnes three. Boxed out there. Wyndham will push it the other way. Long reach there by 33. And scores a level timeout. Up by two, should I say, Wyndham. Coach K is going to talk, call a timeout, talk with his team about what's going on. Look, Archer, they're up and down at the moment, and I love it. They're at each other's throats. It's like... It Ladies and gentlemen, if you cannot get down to the fortress tonight... The last thing I will say to you about this breast cancer round, well, it's not going to be the last thing, but all I can say is get on and donate somewhere. Get onto the breast cancer website, go to caseybasketball.com.au and donate because this is an amazing cause and it helps so many people in so many ways that you wouldn't imagine. And you don't know the difference that one, one person can do by just giving up some time and just a donation and it just helps a million. Zach, know? anything is something. Anything is something, and it, we want to end this horrible, horrible thing that happens to so many families and people, especially so many mums, so many 
many amazing women. So many amazing women in so many, so many people's lives. So, please, donate. If you can, donate to Breast Cancer Network Australia and get on board. It's a great cause. Get behind it. You're not going to want to, you're not going to regret it. That's all I can say. But we're back here at the Fortress. Beautiful pink uniforms were worn by our Youth League champ women and now our champ men. Here come down the floor, Ben Waterhouse with the ball. Screen by Brendan Head. Ben Waterhouse just can't get it to Ben Gaspar. Frustrating here for the Casey Cavaliers. Hopefully they can pull away in this last two minutes of the third quarter. And here you go, tip off. Donlan comes up with a turnover. Donlan going down, driving, kicking. Can't make that shot. Pushing the ball down the floor now. It's tipped by Ben Waterhouse. Hands are everywhere. Pull up to Donlan in the corner. He's at three. Pass to Mike McInnes. Rebound to Mike McInnes. Puts it back up. No good. Archer, I'm shocked with the, the amount of no calls are in this game right now. That's right, Zach. Couldn't agree with you more. But that's okay. The champ men doing extremely well. And here, back the other way now. It's going to be Wyndham. Wyndham driving, pull up. That one's good. 33. John Cook. And here you go, back down the other way. Brendan Head. Hand off. Bazantuni has it. Three ball, Brendan Head. No good. Rebounded. We're going to go the other way now. And there's a charge, charge called. Finally, Mike McInnes picks up the charge. And it's going to go Casey basketball way. Great way to put your body on the line, big man. Casey calling some plays now down the floor. Bazantuni with it. Deciding to throw back to Duke. Ben Waterhouse. Duck inside to Brennan Head. He's double teamed. Little pass to Duke. Hands are there. Ben Waterhouse, three. Rebounded by Duke. Back up, left hand. No good. Can't hit a layup. Brennan Head ripping. And there's 51 seconds on the shot clock. Casey. There's a lid on the basket at the moment. They cannot hit a shot. Casey will be in bonus here. That's the fifth. You mean uh, Wyndham will be in the bonus now? No, Casey will be. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, Zach. Oh, my dear days. It's been a long oh, day. Kill me. Archer, it's been a huge day. It's been a tremendously long, long day. Long. And the first one is Brendan good. Brendan Head is good. He's good, Zach. He's good. Second free throw. Tipped away. Going to go Wyndham way. Last touch there by Duke. Wyndham ball. Great screen there. Pushing the pace. Three. Little up fake. Little turn. Driving middle. Finds an open shooter. No good. Gets the offensive rebound now. Wyndham will look for it. They refresh clock. Baseline pull up mid range. Falls over. No good. It'll be a foul called on the head. Baseline, and I've got to give it to Mike McInnes. I'm frustrated too. Sitting here watching this game, there are no fouls called right whatsoever. This should be, this should have been in the bonus a long time ago. That's right, Zach. And here we go. We'll fall over. Dived on it. Mike McInnes put his body on the line. Great hustles They're there, They're going to go the other way. Ben Waterhouse finds Bazantuni. Great little jump stop there. Brennan Head steps into a mid-range shot. Cannot convert on that one. Be rebounded by Wyndham. Wyndham pushing the pace. They have five seconds on the clock. Mike McInnes will steal it. He'll go up for a long three. 
as the buzzer cannot convert. And there's a technical call. Referee didn't make that decision by himself. He made it based on Wyndham calling out to him. Seriously, making a call based on what the other team's telling you. Just disappointing. There's going to be a technical free throw shot at the, the start of the fourth. But in the meantime, let's go to some of our sponsors, Archer. Archer, who said fast food had to be bad food? Zach, I don't know. How about you tell me? It's the guys over at Guzmani Gomez. That's right, Zach. Guzmani Gomez is by far the best fast food going around with no added preservatives, no artificial flavors, no added colors, and no unacceptable additives. It's fast food even your mum would say yes to. I like the sound of that, Archer. Now, sure. Zach, can you please tell me your GYG order? Got to be a burrito bowl. Got to be a few tacos on the side, some guac. Love it. I'm going to go for a Guzman after this, Archer. Zach, i got to say, this is commentating gig. It makes you hungry. It does make you hungry, Archer. And let's just talk about our other sponsor. Uh, a few more while we've got some time, Archer. A home is like a sanctuary. And with Carlisle Home, you can have your perfect sanctuary. Carlisle Homes have been building homes of exceptional quality and exceeding customer expectations since 2004 with a variety of different display homes all over Melbourne. Carlisle Homes have a home for everyone and they're waiting for you. Life's better when you choose Carlisle Homes. Archer, thank you to Carlisle Homes for being our sponsor. Thanks to GYG for our sponsors. And all of our big V sponsors, including Casey Race, Casey Arc, Physiocrem, PhysioWorks and VO2, we say thank you. Some more minor association sponsors. Melbourne Boomers, MOG, Melbourne Orthodontist Group, Into Action Photography, Impact Sports Promotion, Trios Cranbourne, Garley Trophy Centre, Settlers Run Country and Golf Club, Headspace Nary Warren, Casey Stadium, Cheeky Q's Cafe, Melbourne United. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to all of our sponsors for, uh, for helping us out and being so supportive. Sponsors being supportive of us this weekend, this year. So, last quarter of action coming at you, ladies and gentlemen. First one's no good. They can't count that one as an attempt. They have to count that as an attempt. They have to count that as an attempt. He heard the referees laughing at it. Surely they're not going to give him another one. Maybe these refs, like DJ Khaled, another one. Another one. <laughs> Bit of technical issues here, Zach. A lot of technical issues here, Zach. Sorting You're it out. You're Zach. <laughs> I am Zach Archer. I told you, it's been a monster of a day for me. We've had a triple header. Triple header action at the Fortress. And if you're not exhausted, you are hyped up on 25. First one is good. Oh, and they will be counting another one. Surely he's not going to have another attempt. He already had one. That's in, Zach, that's in, uh, that's three attempts there tonight. Yeah, three attempts. Come on now. I'm just in, I'm complete disarray. He just had three technical free throws instead of the uh, policy two. Oh, just silly. Great defense. Great defense there Great by Brendan, Brendan Head. Going to take everything for these Casey Cavaliers to crawl back into it now. Wyndham with the ball handoff. They're going to flex screen. Twisting, turning, elbow shot is good, 35. Brennan Watkins finally making another bit of impact in this game. Brennan Head pushing the ball, finds Eng under the ring, spinning, turning, pushing the ball up. In! In! 
In, in for Edge. In for Edge. Well done, Edge. Well done, Cal. We love ya. GYG. <laughs> okay. Three ball coming your way. That one's good. Finding the bottom of the cup, number 24. Pomas Pomasan. Around the screen now. Brendan Head will catch to Bazanchuni. Pull up three for Bazanchuni. No good off that attempt. Just a bit too far left on that one. Wyndham will have it. They're going to look to score now. I would hope they're looking to score. Fighting over. Little screen action at the top. Little jab step. Going middle. Great defense there by Alex Bazanchuni. Ref called a foul though. I think it was just the hand down, Archer. Hand down, man down. That caused them to pick up the cheap foul. Great chat, Archer. <laughs> so it looks like everyone is uh, a bit frustrated with the referees. Wyndham and Casey, people alike. Ben Waterhouse having a few words with the referees. That's fine. Wyndham with the ball. There's a free throw. Second attempt is good. Alex Bazanchuni will check out of the game. Nope. There's going to be a timeout called to the Casey Cavaliers. So Coach K checking over with his team what the next step of this game is to be. Archer Matt Donlan, 19 points for the game. Huge game for him. That's right, Zach. 19 points is an impressive performance. But for Matt Donlan, that's, that's, just, that's just normal. That's the norm. It's the norm for Matt Donlan. And overlooking at Wyndham. I've got three players in double digits right now. I was nearly attempted to say triple digits, but that would be impossible. Not, Zach, not impossible. Unless, highly unlikely. Highly unlikely, unless you are the Monstars. I wonder if that is how highly unlikely that is to score triple digits, like score 100 points. I think it'd be hard. Very highly unlikely. Well... Will, did Will Chamberlain do it? Uh, i have to check that statistic, Archer. Let's have a look, Zach. Trusty Google. Trusty Google. So inbounding the ball now for the Casey Cavaliers. It's going to be Calvin Eng to receive. It's going to be AJ Williams and Archer. i got to tell you, like, I love this song. I don't know, something about this beat. What's your take? Zach, you, Zach, you are right. Will Chamberlain did get 100 points. As I said, as you said, statistically unlikely, but not impossible. Not impossible. And here we go on the beat drop. The Cavs were going to take the ball into offense. Mm, 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 mm. Donlin will catch at the top. Pass over BW. Back to Donlin. Step into a three. He's going to do a little dance. It ends up in the hands of Watkins. He's going to push down the floor for Wyndham. Baseline drive, baseline spin. Back to 24. He finds the bottom of the cup, but he's on fire right now. He's on fire. He's got 16. Casey needs to show a hand to this guy. AJ will try to answer the question. Is stopped with a riddle. Wind him down the floor. Lord Duck inside. Met by Ben Waterhouse. There'll be a foul called on BW. So here we go. Three ball on its way for Wyndham. Rebounded by Donlin. No good. AJ Williams pushing the pace. Left side layup. Oh, I've got to be something there, ref. Picked off by Kelvin Eng. Perfect. Oh, there's another hit. Poultry in motion, Zach. Poultry, Poultry in, in motion. motion. Great passing there by the Casey Cavaliers. Wyndham coach telling his players to be poised. Casey are down by 11 currently. They need to make a run here. 
Seven minutes to play in this fourth quarter. We have foul on Donlan. Donlan has no fouls. This is his first. So not in foul trouble yet. Casey are in the bonus. Sorry, Wyndham are in the bonus now. Four, four fouls to Zip Archer. Four fouls to Zip. Four and oh. And there's an easy play by Wyndham. Few little screens and they get a good look under the ring. So that pushes their lead out to 13 now. Casey got to do something here. BW will fire a big three. That just rims out. Looked good from my angle. Looked good from mine. That's okay. We'll live with that shot. Back the other way. It's Wyndham basketball. A little step back. Mike McKinnis, great defense there. Prevents the step back. They're going to set a three as well. Great rebound there by Ben Waterhouse. He's pushing the ball down the floor now. Kelvin Eng back to Ben Waterhouse. To Mike McKinnis, stuck into Kelvin Eng. Finds Donlin, open three. No good off the front of the rim. Back the other way now. Going to have AJ Williams defending. Three ball coming, no good. Looked at it. Back. He'll get it back. Three ball coming. No good. Back the other way on the floor. Step back three for Wyndham. Airball, and the crowd lets him know about it, as they rightfully should. Airball, and I let him know about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Get into him, Archer. Twenty-four, spending more time talking to the referee than actually playing the game of basketball. You love to see it, don't you? Love to see it, Zach. Looks like we have the Avengers out here tonight. He's a real hero here at Casey. Donlin with the ball now. Brendan Head with the ball on the wing. It'll go back to Donlin. Three ball corner for Head. Little pass to Mike McInnes. <laughs> a little head butt to the ball. Let it roll. <laughs> Stop it. Wyndham ball. Picked up by Mike McInnes, pushing the pace. Finds Williams up, down. No good. Wyndham with the ball now. They're up by 11. Working on Casey, picked up by Eng. He's moving down the floor now. Great little Euro step up and down. That's good. Head. We'll put it back in. Time out called. Be a time out called Zach, by this could, Wyndham. Zach, this could be the momentum that Casey needs right now. Casey do need this momentum, and I think Brendan Head is the guy to do it for him. He is definitely the guy to shift some momentum and get him going. That's right, Zach. Just like that. last week, he was the go-to guy in terms of half of those plays in the fourth quarter. And especially when Prendergast tried to put him in the ISO and send him to the line, send himself to the line. Definitely can see this chain switching momentum now. But Casey need to come out strong now, Archer. That's right, Zach. That is right. Right on. Or as great man Borat would say. That's nice. The bangerang by Splex. You love to see it. Folks, four minutes 26 to play in this fourth quarter. 59 to 68. Your Casey Cavaliers are trailing at the current moment. And uh, we are roaring and ready to go here at the Fortress. We are ready for this momentum to shift. So here we go. 
Casey Cavaliers looking like Cavaliers ready to go in a battle. Their armor of pink tonight, Zach. Armor of pink. So manly. Looks amazing on our boys. It is a super manly. Super manly. Only men wear pink, Archer. That's right, Zach. Only men wear pink. So now going down the floor, it's wind and ball. A little bit of a zone here by Casey Cavaliers trying to switch it up. Arms are nice and wide. Looking to stop down the shooters. And Step it's going to be out of court by Wyndham. Fortress erupts here. Isaac, in the wise words of Brian Taylor, that, that was, was out, out of bounds. bounds. <laughs> that was out of bounds. So Casey going to retain possession here. They're going to push it down the floor in the hands of Williams. Looking to shift the momentum here with Donlin. Not it's picked off. It was not tapped by Casey. It was tapped by Wyndham. Number 30. Here we go, on the sideline here, it's going to be Casey Basketball in the hands of Williams. He's going to get a screen by N, she's going to get a double screen, get him to the basket, Donlan splits off for three. Moving, driving, N, left hand, layup is good. Let's go. And we're going to go the other way, cut down the lead to seven. Hands have got to be nice and wide here for this zone. They're going to try to shut down the shooters and trap the corners just like they do there. And Donlan nearly picks up the steal. A foul, a foul court. And they'll take that smart foul. So they're going to send Wyndham to the line number eight in particular, Aaron Donnelly. Great game for him tonight. He's got eight already, looking to make it ten on the line. Looking for the Fortress to make some noise here. There we go. First one no good, hits the back of the rim. The Fortress is going to be up and about to make him miss his second free throw. And you know what? I am too. Makes the second free throw. Casey will bring it the other way now. They're down by eight. Three minutes, 33 to play in this fourth quarter. Folks, cannot make this stuff up. It's not a myth. This is the truth. Mike McInnes, three. Mike it's McInnes, good! five! It's three good! by Mike McInnes. Clutch three-pointer ice in his veins. Wyndham will have the ball now. Great defense there. Great defense there by the Casey Cavaliers, moving. Ooh. Ooh. What? Ooh. What Ooh. is going on? The ref didn't know what to call there. What am I watching right now with my uh. eyeballs? Seriously. Casey Cavaliers with the ball. Mike McInnes has it. To Donlin gets a screen from head, doesn't use it. Three ball coming your way, no good. Rebounded by Wyndham. Ball's gonna move the other way this time. They're gonna take down the right side of the floor. Screen coming, doesn't use it. Steps back, finds the next pass. Over it goes. Cross to the middle. AJ Williams, great defense. There's a slippery spot on the floor. And there's a dunk by Wyndham. You've got to stop the game, ref. Right then and there. Wow. Wow, wowie. Wowie, oh boy. Everyone, there is bodies flying everywhere. Casey are down by seven at the moment. Two minutes, 25 to play in the fourth quarter. Archer, I'm excited to be here. Zach, I am excited to be here too. You know what I find interesting about this, uh, this, this comp? This champ men comp. What's that, Zach? That I haven't seen a score that's been blown out in proportion. Like, there's never a, a team that's just not meant to be here. That's right, They're Zach. all ready to play. And you're, you can see this by this Casey and this Wyndham team ready to go. Here's a screen here by Calvin Edge. Pull up. AJ Williams. And the shooter's touch rolls out. I a foul, a foul is gold. Mike McInnes will get the foul. He'll go to the charity stripe, try to make it. Trying to make it 12 for himself. Hey, babe. You need to be a button. You need to be shh. 
Here we go. Mike McKiss on the line. Yeah, quite pretty. First one hits the back of the rim. Misses. Second one. It is good. So Wyndham has been... Casey have cut the Wyndham lean down by s to six. Archer, I'm so excited. The words can't even come out of my mouth properly. Wyndham lean. Three ball. Fakes him out. Cannot convert on that one. There's a tip in. Great little tip in there by Wyndham. It's eight. A minute 50 clicking down on the game clock. There's a three by AJ Williams. No good. Casey, defense, transition, pull up for Wyndham. That one's good. Finds bottom of the cup. And and Casey going to bring the ball back down the other way. Donlin with the ball. Gets a screen from Eng. Pull up. Long three. No good off the right side of the rim. They're down by 10 currently. AJ Williams. Defending, pushes the ball over. Hands by w Wyndham. Three ball on the way. It's good by Wyndham. Bit of a scuffle over the other side of the court. Be a double unsportsmanlike foul like on five on and both. 31. Unsportsmanlike on both. I didn't see what happened. Would love to see a replay. Need an instant replay we here at the, state, uh, at the fortress. Score review. Go to the arc. The arc, we do not have an arc. Casey, only down by 10. Now, we've seen teams pull it back before. Archer, it's not impossible. It's not impossible, Zach, and especially I, our champ men can do it. Might I add, I don't think it is even highly unlikely. I just think it's likely that they could bring it back right now. That's, That's the right. caliber of skill you have in this Casey Cavaliers team. And I think the perfect anthem to pull us into the perfect anthem to pull us into the last ticking seconds of this fourth quarter would be this song, Sweet Caroline. So here we go. It's going to be Casey basketball. They had possession last before the unsportsmanlike. The unsportsmanlike double cancelled out. So it means that Casey still retained possession. Referees still going over to the bench. Not sure what's what's going on. Let's get the fortress up and going. And you can hear him going. So good, so good, so good, good. So, we're going to go to Casey. Referees just need to run the game. They need to stop talking to everyone else and they need to run the game. Stop, they need to have a chat, it seems like it. <sighs> Apologise, it wasn't a draft here. Mike McKinnis has been sent off. Mike McInnes is going to go have a, a sit in the change room. Great screen there by Donlan. Waterhouse. Three ball, AJ Williams. That go! one's good. Clutch three. There is still a chance here for this Casey Cavaliers team. They need to make a run quickly. They need to make a run very quickly. Great straight defense there by Brendan Head. AJ Williams comes over to help. Bodies flying everywhere. Wyndham have it. Baseline drive. There's going to be a foul, and they're going to send 
number eight to the line, Aaron Dolney. Very smart foul there by Ben Waterhouse. It's a two-possession game right now, Archer. It is, Zach. Got to make some noise. They can't hear you, Archer. But now they can. Wyndham, first free throws good, kicks it out to 11. Second free throw coming your way. That one's good. And he's got the oh, silence there you go. the crowd. Silence there the it crowd, is. hero. Calvin and dropping Calvin. players. That's a flop warning every day of the week. We love to see it, Archer. We love to. No marshmallows here at the Fortress. Unlike this Wyndham team that have come in. Be a timeout goes to Wyndham. Matt Dunlin asking if he's three counted, which it the three counted? Three points is good. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Up and about here at Casey Stadium at the Fortress. Been a great game. 40 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. Now it appears I thought they yep, they put it on the wrong team. So currently, Casey are down by nine with 40 seconds to play. Now, Archer, it would be unwise to foul in this situation and send someone to the line. I'd be going for a quick steal, a quick shot, a quick steal, and then looking to foul. That's if right. If that right. option's not on, I'd be going to foul. It seems out of, out of reach right now, but 40 seconds is a long time, and the fat lady is not singing yet. That's right, Zach, the fat lady. The cows haven't come home yet. Mr. Brightside, another great anthem to pull us back into this game. Bit of motivation. They're dropping like flies out here at Casey Stadium. Marshmallows everywhere against our hard Casey Cavaliers. Tough, tough players. It's killing me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be Wyndham Ball. Advance. Got to hit a player here. Got to get a steal. Calvin Eng. Blake, great, great defense. defense. Great fronting the post. Ben Waterhouse getting inside. Leaving, leaving. Turning, fist facing. It's going to be out of bounds. Oh, Wyndham still retain possession. And they get an easy two. And they go up by 11 here. So Casey, we're going to pull the ball back. Three ball coming for AJ Williams. Can't convert. And it looks like Wyndham are going to Pull this one and run it out. They get it over half court. 12 seconds to play. Wyndham will hold it. A great fourth game by both teams. Let's not, let's not discount anyone here. Both teams, very great game. Uh, and unfortunately, the Casey Cavaliers just could not pull away the whole game. It seemed like they were down. So it's a very great win by Wyndham. They won them all. They win them. They're going to go home a happy team tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Casey Cavaliers Basketball Triple Header Action. This event only comes down once a year. Balling for breast cancer. Archer, how good is this event? Zach, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's something Casey prides themselves to be a part, a part of. They do. They do. And we just want to thank the wind of basketball, but we also want to thank Sherbrooke for coming down today and putting on such an impressive game. Archer, it was fun to watch this Champman game, huh? It was, Zach. Indeed it, it was. was. We enjoyed ourselves. It was awesome. We'll see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. 71 to 82. That's your final score. Wyndham with the big win over the Casey Cavaliers, commanding going into the rest of the season. I'm Zach, co-host with me tonight, Archer, and we'll see you all later. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. <laughs>